Yeah, Hal. Well, in a statement, the Alberta Teachers Association says that they laid out a three-part test to judge this budget by, and it appears to have failed on all three parts. Not only does Schilling say the budget doesn't fully address enrollment, he points out it also does little to address inflation and does nothing to repair years of underfunding. According to the ATA, Alberta schools are the least funded in Canada. Schilling also points out that public schools will see a 4.4% increase compared to private private schools, which will see a 13.5% increase. He sums it up by saying, quote, last year we saw what a pre-election budget looks like. Today we see what a post-election budget looks like. And according to NDP finance critic and Lethbridge West MLA Shannon Phillips, not only will this budget affect education, but she says it's going to hit health care workers the most. Well, I think the health care system is doomed uh, with this budget. Uh, it, already we are seeing so many closures of emergency departments. We're seeing limited hours throughout uh, 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 the rural areas in particular. You're seeing entire communities that have to drive two and three hours in order to have a baby or have simple procedures done. You have 60% uh, of our family doctors who are looking at leaving their practice. And that was before this budget came out. And in our hospitals, it's worse. There is a 1% uh, in increase projected for our hospital budget when the government's own figures that we know are conservative are inflation and population at 6.2. So if you think that everything's fine in the hospitals now, which it is not, just wait for it to get worse. I also spoke with Alberta Union of Provincial Employees, President Guy S. Smith, who says that this could have been a good news budget, but it's not. He says that in a $6.4 billion surplus, the province should have invested Alberta's neglected public services and crumbling infrastructure, uh, but it didn't. Instead, he says now Albertans will wait longer for wildfire response times, court services, educational supports, critic health and social services whether it's in government services, healthcare, post-secondary, um, our members are kind of stretched to the limit. And, you know, they're, they're, they're proud of the work they do and the services they provide to Albertans. It's becoming more and more difficult. And as we're seeing, the population of Alberta is growing. The demand on services is growing. Um, yet there's not the requisite uh, uh, um, investment in, in those services. So, yeah, it's frustrating. Guy Smith also says that it's a collective bargaining year for 82,000 AUPE members, most of whom work for the government of, of Alberta and Alberta Health Services. And he says these workers plan to fight for better working conditions, whether or not the government budgets for it or not. How?